Hi and welcome back. Today I thought I would answer a question that most of you ask and that is not about retinol or vitamin C. Okay, the third most common question. How do I look after my hands? And you're going to kind of like the answer to this because I'm really low maintenance with my hands. Uh, I am blessed to have very long fingers but I'm not blessed with naturally good nails or cuticles or good skin on my hands. And here's the reason why I think that my hands look quite good. Um, and it's a cautionary tale to anybody because if you look at my hands and you look at my face and then you compare my neck and chest, you can see what I've looked after and what I haven't. Even though when I was in my 20s and 30s, and you think you're gonna live forever when you're in 20s and 30s, I was writing features about how you should always take your skincare right the way down and you should always look after your hands. It was only by accident that I was actually looking after my hands. It really was because I think the reason my hands have aged as well as they have is because I always use the same skincare on my hands that I do on my face. So in the morning, I will gel cleanse my skin uh, with, at the moment, this, which is also another little secret tip I've got for looking after your hands. And then afterwards, I will put on my serums. And uh, no matter how many droppers I use, and this is what I'm currently using, which is SkinCeutical C Ferulic, which has been my go-to antioxidant in the morning for yonks. Yonks and yonks and yonks. And at the moment, I've run out of my uh, Neod Multimolecular HC2, and so I'm using my Indeed Hydration Booster, which I really love. And I will put that on first, and then I will put on that. And the remains of those go not down onto my chest, sadly, which would be a wise thing to do. They go down to here, and then down to here if I remember, but what they always do every single day is they go onto the back of my hands, because, the thing with serums is you have a little bit and you apply it onto your face and neck and then by your very nature, I can take no credit for this at all, your hands are a little bit tacky and so I just do that. So every single day these hands have been covered in antioxidants and hyaluronic acid for as long as I can remember, for as long as I've been using advanced night repair from Estee Lauder, I mean which is I mean, that's nearly 20 years old, right? These have been getting a daily dose of serum. Now, one thing that does happen is if you wash your hands a lot, then you might be not really surprised that so many hand lotions and washes are really, really, really heavily scented. And they tend to be little more than a sort of shower gel. And they can be really dehydrating on your hands. So here's my little secret. I don't have a hand wash in my hand. I mean, I do. I have cow shed, uh, grubby cow in my kitchen, um, which I don't use that often. Only when I've been, say, sort of chopping garlic or something like that and my hands smell. This is what I use as my hand wash. This is CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. It's designed for your face and there is a large one for your body, but why not use it on your hands? Again, who, who decides that certain products should be used on your face and yet they're too expensive or too well formulated to be used on the rest of your body. It doesn't make sense. This is a really reasonably priced hydrating gel cleanser that is the perfect hand wash as well. No dryness, no tightness, no irritation, just clean, hydrated, softened hands. Because it's got that magic blend that I keep going on about. The ceramides, the humectants, it, the fatty acids, it just works. And I think this is like six or seven quid, which is cheaper than most hand washes. Why do we think that things that we put on our face and our neck shouldn't also go onto our hands? Am I right? I'm right, right? <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk about some of the other things I use on my hands. Uh, and genuinely, genuinely, I don't use specific hand creams. Um, there are I mentioned this last week, this is La Roche-Posay Seeker Plus Bone 5. This is what I would use if my hands were dry or I'd been gardening or I had overwashed them because I'd been doing lots of cooking or lots of cleaning, all those things that we all do. Um, it's There is a hand version of it, but I always have this to hand. And here's another one. They are just really good healing generic balms, unscented. And this one is 
is Clinical Shield, which is technically formulated to use on your face after you've had procedures. So after example, laser or Botox or fillers and your skin's just feeling a little bit sensitive after a peel, why wouldn't you use this on your hands if you really care about your hands? Both of them are thick unguents loaded with ceramides and fatty acids, um, cholesterol, things like that. Things that your skin needs. Both are heavily hydrating, slightly occlusive, but more importantly unscented if you've got sensitised hands. Now here's my piece of advice if you, and I got lots of questions about this, if you have somebody that has super dry hands, somebody emailed me the other day and said that their husband was a waiter and his hands were super dry with calluses. Wear these with a cotton glove over the top. You can get them at a local pharmacist. And um, in fact, Mavala do a hand cream with a cotton glove included, but you can just buy little cotton gloves that you put on your hands at night. You'll be like a mime artist. It just traps the heat of your hands into uh, the surface of the skin and allows these to penetrate and not rub off on your sheets. It really is that simple. If I am going to choose a hand cream though, I do like Slixia. Slixia is relatively new and it's formulated to make your uh, manicure last longer. And I'm gonna finish by telling you the secrets of my nails, because trust me, sorry, that's me dropping my hydration booster. Trust me, I, um, I'm super low maintenance with my hands. I go to a local salon every two and a half, if I can stretch it to three weeks, I will. And I have a gel shellac manicure. So anyway, Slixia was developed to extend the length of time you can go between having a manicure. And I find it particularly good if, for example, this time round I just had a repolish, so I didn't have a proper manicure. Therefore, I haven't had my kind of cuticles nipped or those little bits of dry skin. This sticks it back really well and doesn't discolor. I like nude nail polishes, doesn't discolor your nail polishes. Now let's talk about nail polishes because I'm going to tell you that without a doubt my favourite nail polishes are CND Shellac and look I'm going to start with my all time favourite nude. Um, they have a really good system, people say to me the whole time, let me get that one I've just dropped, they have a really good system where and people say to me the whole time aren't gel polishes bad for your nails? Technically. Um, my local salon, I have to say, is a little bit kind of wild, wild west when it comes to the base coat and the top coat it uses. And sometimes you'll find a base coat being used from one brand and then a polish from another and then a top coat of another. And that can be really damaging to your nails. However, if you opt for a proper CND shellac salon, you will find they have a no soak, no file policy. So they don't really buff your nails and it's the buffing and the filing of your nails when they do it that way across the surface of your nails that thins it. It's not the gel or shellac polish, I promise. Gel and shellac polish is actually permeable. You can put oils on top and the oils will go through it. Um, it's the same reason that they can also technically dry out your nails if you don't look after them because the moisture can still come up through your nails through the polish. But this is a really quick soak off solution, nail base and top coat. And if you really care about your nails, please try to find a salon that uses them. And let's just finish with my all time favorite nail colors, shall we? <gasps> I always wear the same ones. On my Instagram, I've got a little Insta story highlight. Um, which basically highlights all my favourite colours. Let's talk about Bare Chemise, a great, great, pretty nude, nude knickers. These are classics, they've been around for ages. Field Fox, the most chic greys you will ever wear. Um, oh, I do quite like this one if I'm going away on holiday, what's it called? You see now, you can tell the ones I don't wear that often because Studio White, I love if you want Mummager Chris Jenner nails. It's quite hard though, you get a really talented nail artist to paint them on. If your nails have any imperfections, they will show through Studio White, but I quite like it on the toes, Al El McPherson as well. Uh, Fedora is a classic, almost black, deep berry color. And then, and then I've got one here, um, which I don't use that often, but which I do when I'm going on holiday and I'm going on a beach holiday and I want something a little bit different. And that is Sugared Spice, which is a sort of shimmery gold color. 
It's really, really lovely. They are my classic one, two, three, four, five, six, six CND shades. However, I wear different colours. If you look on my Instagram and you go to the top and you look at the highlights, it'll have nail shades and all the colours that I've worn recently will be there as well. Um, so there you go. My secret of my hands is every day I put an antioxidant and a hyaluronic acid on them. By default, I can take no credit for this. I wish I'd looked after my chest in the same way and I wouldn't have to have laser on them because I haven't had any work done on my hands at all. Um, use a hydrating gel hand cleanser that's formulated for your face or your body. Don't use a really harsh hand stripping hand wash that's really heavily scented. Choose an unscented balm and cotton gloves in cases of emergency. That's well worth investing in, especially if you have re regular manicures. And if you're going to have a gel, choose a system that will look after your nails. I do get a lot of compliment on my, compliments on my hand. By the way, this, which is another thing people ask about, is from an LA company called Jackie H and it was a gift and I love it. Um, I never take it off, essentially. It's too fiddly to get on and off. Uh, I warn you, if you uh, look onto Jackie H's Instagram page, it might cost you a lot of money. <laughs> it was a gift, I didn't buy it. Uh, there you go. Oh, one final thing I'd like to say about hands. Um, if you do suffer from dry, flaking, dehydrated hands in winter, or if you work with your hands and they become really dry or 